I'd also, with regards to conservatism, you know, I don't know if approaching how people should deal with the problems in their lives from a psychological perspective, the viewpoint of a clinical psychologist, I wonder if that kind of automatically makes you conservative in some way, because my locus of concern has always been the individual and so, and, and individual well-being and, you know, being trained as a behavioral psychologist. I always took as my unit of analysis the enhancement of well-being of health, let's say, at the individual level, and maybe translated into political, and when that's translated into the political landscape, maybe that looks something like conservatism. I don't know. I mean, I never thought about this. I never thought about what I was doing in political terms to begin with. Like, even my initial statement about Bill C-16 and compelled speech wasn't supposed to be something specifically political. I just thought the political had escaped its boundaries. It's like, no, you don't get to infringe on free speech. You're no longer in the political realm at that point. That's a different realm. Get the hell back where you belong. That's how it looked to me. But you know, the, the, everything, that's another thing that's very peculiar about our culture at the moment. It's almost impossible to have a discussion about anything and have the coverage not be politicized. And I think that's partly a function of how the media, the, the, the legacy media work, because they tended to view everything through a political lens, and also a consequence of this insistence, and this I think comes primarily from the radical left, that everything is political. And I don't buy that. It's like, you can say that everything has a political aspect, but that's a completely different claim than everything is political, which is a totalizing claim. And I also, as a social scientist, don't like totalizing claims because most things are multivariate complex. And so, well, so... Yeah, I think we can prove that um, you can politicize everything, but not everything is political. And that the tendency to view everything in political terms destroys our ability to properly navigate questions on which we actually ought to have alignment. And this is a, it's a very disturbing pattern to see um, every question, including uh, COVID itself, turned into a team sport, because that is, of course, sabotaging exactly the ability to reason through our various options, and then to get us to move in a coordinated direction to actually address the, uh, the pandemic.